I did St. Lucia twice. I did say, <laughs> this is my life. I just, <laughs> oh wait. Okay. It's just the Say no bother with the red sting girl This I no say don't put no fist in girl Daddy land Say your man you are replacing girl Yo daddy now land and pat up your thing If you good up good up yeah. Wind your waist if you good up good up Touch up yourself if you good up good up Good up good up my girl What's up guys it's your girl T And I am back with another episode Happy New Year So listen I know I promised that I was going to be more consistent on this channel um, with content and that was last year and I was consistent last year um, until the end of last year when I kind of had a meltdown but um, today I just wanted to bring you guys a quick life update um, kind of what's been going on with me I know I haven't really seen you guys much since the summer and I just wanted to touch base so first things first everybody's been asking where I've been um, I've actually been mo focusing more on my content on Instagram and um, Instagram and TikTok, so I haven't really had a whole lot of time to sit and record videos. That's why the shorter content, the reels, and the TikToks will actually work better for my schedule now. Uh, I think the last time we really touched base, I told you guys I was going back to work. I did go back to work, so I work full time. And T Travels is actually cracking right now. So basically, I have two full time jobs and two kids. <laughs> Uh, all in all, I have three babies. I'll say that. Um, the kids are doing great. Demaya's in her last year of high school. She's a senior. She's getting ready to graduate. So, of course, we're getting ready for prom and all of that. Um, Wynn is about to be two years old in May. So, he's just he just made 20 months. And he is big, beautiful, and busy. So, yeah, that's I'm really feeling it now. I think I told you guys before how... When I first had him, because he was a little baby and I had had Maya for so long, it didn't really feel like I had two kids. It, it wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be. Baby, <laughs> I'm eating my words now. Like, I am, I had a period where I was really, really overwhelmed. Um, and to a point where I just had to say, you know what, forget it. What I can do, I can do. What I can't, I can't. Um, so I kind of have been operating in that space for the last couple of months and just trying not to wear myself out, wear myself thin. And yeah, I think things have been going a little bit better. I actually started to focus more on myself a little bit, been going out, hanging out a little bit. Um, carnival season started back up. We'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, just trying to get the self-care in again and uh, dating a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to speak about that in this episode or if I'm gonna do I think I want to do a separate episode just for like dating and like what the dating scene has been like so yeah that's pretty much where I've been I've been around <laughs> I've been here I haven't really been anywhere I actually haven't been on vacation or been on any trips since uh ooh, I haven't been nowhere since St. Lucia back in July of last year so yeah I'm ready I'm ready to get back outside for real. I leave for Trinidad in two weeks. I'm doing this today on the 27th. I leave on the 8th of February. I cannot wait because I literally have not been anywhere. I've been cooped up in the house. So that's where I've been physically. Mentally, I have been um, just trying to, like I said, focus on my self-care, get my mental health in check. You know, um, I always speak about the winter blues and, you know, the season of depression and everything, the holidays. With the holidays, I actually did pretty well this year. Um, I had moments where I was just kind of in and out as far as my feelings and things. But um, that was just, I, I would contribute that to being um, overwhelmed with everything that I had going on. Not so much depression. Um, when I did feel like kind of blew them down or whatever, I just... You know, kind of had self-care days and took space where I needed to. But I really just been trying to focus on um, my relationship with God, uh, my mental health, uh, got back on my weight loss journey. I think what really did it for me, um, I got really sick 
in November. I got that flu bug that was going around. I got really, really sick. Um, me and the kids got sick, but of course I got it the worst. Um, and literally I just got over my cough. It's January, I just got off my over my cough like this week. Um, it was it was really bad. And um, I had th two trips to the ER and one trip to the urgent care. And um, they told me my, my blood pressure was like ridiculously high. I think it was like 190 something over one something. Um, so they put me on blood pressure medication. And I also found out that I have acid reflux. So um, definitely had to chill on the spicy food and the drinking and stuff. Um, I had a really, really bad case of acid reflux, which was weird for me because I've never dealt with anything like that. Like I've never really had gastro issues. Um, I'm more prone to like things that deal with like my head, like sinus stuff and all of that stuff. Um, nausea, stuff like that is the most that I'll have as far as my stomach. But um, as far as me getting sick, it's normally like a head cold or something like that. Or I, ha I used to have really bad migraines and things like that. So the whole gastro thing was just like brand new to me and I had never felt any pain like that. So um, I was glad I was able to get that under control and I focused on my health. Um, I've been focusing on my health like way more. I've lost like 30 pounds in the past um, six weeks. So I started the HCG diet, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a separate vlog about that. Um, this is my second time doing the HCG diet. I did it back in 2017 when I lost all that weight. I lost like over 100 pounds. Um, so I'm doing it again. Um, I've, I'm proud of myself because I was actually able to maintain that weight loss for what, up until I had win. So it was like six years. So um, yeah, now I think it's just time for me to do it again and just like get back in that habit and everything and see what I can lose, um, see what I can maintain, really tone and shape and all that good stuff. But yeah, so relationship with God, uh, my health, and uh, like I said, I started back dating and that was a doozy. Huh. Started dating and then I stopped, I'm done. Like. <laughs> I started and I finished in the time that I've been going. Also been focused on like my work-life balance. Like I mentioned, I'm back at work. I'm working full time. I work for a aerospace company. Uh, sorry, ooh, sinuses. Um, I work for an aerospace company and um, basically I purchase parts for F-16 fighter planes, which is really cool. Something different that I've never done. I've been in purchasing and procurement for uh, about 16, 17 years now, which you guys know. Uh, and this is my first time doing anything like this. So I really like it. It's really interesting. Work culture is great. The people around me are phenomenal. My boss, <laughs> shout out to my boss. I'm not gonna tell y'all her name in case I do something y'all feel like y'all need to call my boss. But um, she's really dope. She is a Polish lady. And I really like um, having, being the child of an immigrant, I really like being around other, other people from different cultures and things like that. So like, um, Something happened, I got an order or something that was messed up. And all day I'm kissing my teeth, I'm just all day like. So the dude, I did it and the dude that sits across from me, he's like, oh, bless you. I guess he thought I sneezed. He's like, bless you. And my boss is like, no, she's not sneezing. That's just her sign of disapproval. <laughs> I'm like, cause you know. She was like, I know, I know. So apparently everybody in every culture kisses their teeth. Everybody sucks their teeth. So. I thought that was really cool. She's she's mad dope. She's really, really um, understanding. She's really kind. And it's so funny because everybody else, like from the other departments, they're like, oh, she's mean. You got the tough, you got the tough boss. She is a sweetheart. She just don't play no bullshit. Like, <laughs> she's great. But yeah, this is it's probably one of the best jobs I've ever had, I will say that. I also mentioned that T Travels is having a resurgence. I'm a long way from retirement, ain't I? I said I was gonna step back from it but you know the people weren't having that so i dropped packages for uh what was it you guys know i had the um trinidad and the jamaica which a lot of people dropped out of my trinidad package so i i'm literally going down there with like four clients um and none of my able my friends are able to go anymore so it's just gonna be me and my four clients and my clients are staying in different places so i'm literally gonna be in trinidad by myself thank god i made some friends down there last time but yeah it's all me <laughs> so jamaica did really really well uh, i was able to close that out jamaica sold out 
Um, then I was pressured into opening packages for, opening registration for a, um, a Barbados crop over package and um, Grenada Spice Mask again. So those two I'm, I'm doing again. I did them this year. I'm doing them again. And man, let me tell you, Grenada is oversold and Barbados is now picking up. Barbados is the only package that I have left at this point. And now it's picking up. It's on track to sell out. So fully fully booked, fully it's done. Like um, we're like halfway done with payments at this point. Um, so I've been really, really blessed in that aspect. Um, you know, I thought I was done and I got that reassurance that this is God's plan for my life. So I'm really happy about that. So as I mentioned, um, I leave for Trinidad in about two weeks. It's just me and my lonesome. Um, I even have an apartment by myself, so that's kind of, I don't know, but I have people that are going to be there, you know, popping in on me and stuff like that. I have a driver and all that stuff, so I should be good and safe. I'm going to, of course, bring you guys all the content from that. I did not overpack my schedule this time, my itinerary this time, um, because I really just wanted to really experience Trinidad, so I'm not doing back-to-back -back pets and all that. Like I said, my friends aren't coming, so I'm not going to be, like, I don't have a problem going to fest by myself, but I'm not going to be in a fest like that by myself. So, um, plenty of time to sightsee, go to the beaches. Um, I really want to eat. I'm really looking forward to eating. I haven't eaten for real in damn near two months, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the beach, Maracas Bay. Um, for some reason, I think I think when I do the packages where um, I take clients and stuff, there's not a whole lot of time for me to do anything or see anything. So I'm really excited to just go to the beach. Like my last few carnival trips, I have not been to the beach. And it's so crazy because I think I did St. Lucia twice. I did St. <laughs> this is my life. I just, oh wait, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yes, I was saying, um, I did St. Lucia twice and still never went to a, had like a beach day. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, I, you know what? I'm lying. Last time I went to St. Lucia, I came out early. So yeah, I did get a beach day. Um, but yeah, outside of that, when I do the carnival trips for my clients, when I curate carnival trips, I don't get to go to the beaches or have like just sightseeing days or nothing unless I do like a, a island tour with my clients. But other than that, I get no days to myself. So I'm really, I'm excited. I scheduled my thing this way so that my clients can still do the major feds, do what they want to do. And um, I can have that time for myself and go to the smaller, quieter feds and stuff like that. I, I'm only doing, I think, four feds. I might squeeze in one more, but I'm there for a week and I'm only doing four feds plus two days of road. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of time to just enjoy myself, relax, plus push out some content. So or you guys will be seeing, having the full experience with me. So like I said, um, April, we are heading to Jamaica from the, we are going to Kingston, Jamaica. That is completely sold out. There, are, There is no getting on that package. Don't even try. I'm looking forward to that because I haven't been to Jamaica in a really, really long time. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And of course, it's a curated trip, but I, there's still a lot more. The fets aren't as crazy as other places like Trinidad and stuff like that. They're not like back-to-back-to-back -back -back fets like that. But the only problem is that there is since road is on sunday and like people normally come in on like thursday or friday you really only get like thursday friday saturday to fit everything is packed into saturday i just noticed that everything's packed on saturday saturday so you really have to pick and choose which fits you want to do um and, and and be mindful of that because road is on sunday but we are staying an extra day we are staying until tuesday so monday we don't really have anything to do probably go to dunce falls and do the water rafting and everything, um, bamboo rafters and everything. So that's, that should be pretty dope. Um, but, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back outside. I haven't been to Barbados since that layover to uh, St. Lucia in July. So that was just for one day. So I literally have not been to Barbados since December of last year, right? December of 2022. So uh, yeah, it's, 
it's time. Y'all know how I am about Barbados and how quickly I get homesick, so definitely time. I mean, this will be my first year in Grenada, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. And then I have like, it's completely sold out. So I'm gonna be there with a ton, a ton, a ton of people. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, that's gonna be a time. Enjoy some jab jab and oil and all of that stuff. So that should be pretty dope. As far as future plans past that, uh, I'm really trying to get to Nigeria for Desi December this year. Um, so December, probably trying to say that all of December. I talked about, I threw out the idea of doing a Say Kids Carnival, which is um, the beginning of the year. So like January, that first week of January. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work with me going to uh, Nigeria. I have to kind of play with some dates because I do have a job and all, but um, yeah. Hopefully I make it to Nigeria this year. If I can't do St. Kitts Carnival, I'm probably gonna drop a package for Zvego, but follow my travel Instagram at t.travels concierge. You'll see all the packages that I drop for the rest of the year. Um, really, I'm just trying to work my way through summer carnival, summer carnival season right now, close that out, and then I'm gonna be moving into fall carnivals. But yeah, if I don't, it's either going to be Tobago Carnival or St. Kitts Carnival. But like I said, I'm really trying to get to Nigeria for Desi December. So yeah, I'm, I'm, that's priority for me right now. Also, I've been toying with the idea of getting a little work done. Toying with the idea of getting a little work done this year. So I will keep you guys posted on that as well. And I'm gonna do right. I'm gonna do right by y'all. Cause I see my, my followers are actually going up. Even with me not putting out content, I see that I'm getting followers, I guess, from my content on TikTok. My TikTok is linked to my YouTube. So I mean, I think I've been getting, I noticed my my numbers go up when I have a video that goes viral over on TikTok. So um, you guys are following, you guys are paying attention. So the least I can do is do right and put out content over here as well. But I thank you guys for rocking with me all this time i just celebrated five years on youtube five years um as a business owner well i've had businesses but five years as a successful business owner with t travels t travels actually turned five on january the 15th so i actually started this channel and my t travels channel which i don't really use but um i started both of these channels um i think january 16th or something like that right after i started t travels so we're uh, everything's turning five this month so shout out to you guys for subscribing and showing me so much love and engaging with my content whether it's here on tiktok on instagram you guys make me feel so warm and bubbly on the inside like i'm being heard and i love you guys for that and i thank you and i will continue to put out more meaningful fun free content going forward and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys here and out there all right thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you later bye yeah you forget the big life say money they a bucket for the big life come let me fill this socket with the big light yeah i'm a boot boot bruce so you're tight tight